Hello everybody, it's Raggedo Seven with you, and um, I don't mean to sound like a, a fear monger by any means, okay? It's just like, this is reality, folks, and I find this to be very disturbing. Um, this is the military drill, special forces, foreign troops, practicing martial law, uh, law downtown Tampa, Miami, downtown. Really? Um, in this particular video, uh, they asked the kids what they thought about it. And they're like, oh, I think it's kind of neat. Well, I don't see anything neat about this at all. And, um, I find it very disturbing. And I was talking to my friend, and, uh, she had said that, you know, they're getting people ready. And I agree. I agree totally. Uh, they are getting people ready to put up with this crap, all right? It's going to be like a, an everyday life thing. And it really starts to sink in about the state of this world. Folks, we've never seen things like this. Not here, at least. And you know what? If, if you really want to know about it, we should no one should have to see this anywhere. I'm so sick of the violence and everything, but like my friend said... It's supposed to happen. And she's right. She is. It's supposed to be this way because, um, <clears throat> well, that's what the Bible said. And believe it or not, even if you don't believe, you might want to check it out because uh, it's there, black and white and red, about the upcoming events. And it really is being played out. It really is. It's creepy. All. All right, I'm going to show you something else. This here is from SLU, S-L-O-O-H. Um, Asteroid Grand Challenge Announcement. Now this one here, you're going to think I'm being weird and hokey, and I don't care. You know I haven't cared. And um, i just say what, how it is. Uh, anyways, SLU and NASA are pairing up together, okay? And let me go back up there so you can see that. Um... They're pairing up together because, it, it, now, please, I really want you guys to go see this. Because you have to watch it to get what I'm talking about. But it seems kind of interesting that there is a, a sense of urgency in this. You know, um, wow. You guys, and considering what's coming up this weekend, which I don't think it's going to be... Um, devastating, okay? What I do think it, there's always that possibility. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Not a set week and day like tomorrow we're supposed to get the shower. But I do feel like we're going to get like a couple of these like in Russia. Um, and it will be... I'm not predicting or anything. It's just something my gut has been nagging at me out. There will be three of them, and it will happen very uh, close together in time. Okay? But that's just my thought, and I've never really actually spilled my thoughts to you guys, but um, there you have it. But I just kind of find it interesting that they are, I mean, it is, I would play it, but I don't want to get my face ripped off, okay? But, um... It's on SLU, and it is a really wild video, because uh, the guy who is on there, the older guy, he's, um, his demeanor is different than what it usually is. I'll just put it to you that way, okay? He's very overly enthused. Um, he, uh, I just felt urgency, that's all. And, I, I mean, I, I think I'm kind of um, intuitive. Um, I know this probably sounds bad or whatnot, but it is what it is. But, like an empath, um, I, I just feel things. And, like, when I was watching the Army thing in Tampa, you guys, I thought I was going to throw up. I really, really did. I mean, it was just like... All I could say was Jesus over and over and over. It was just, 
it, overwhelming. And like right now, I'm like getting chicken skin, and it's just so, like, keep your eyes open, do not fall asleep, kind of thing. Um, and I don't mean that in a literal sense, um, because I do tend to like watch this stuff, and then I pull back a little bit because it gets to the point where it's so overwhelming that I can't, I can't handle it. I can function, but it's just like, you know what, I need some fluffy, happy things for a little bit. And you know what, guys, this is reality. This is not fear-mongering, okay? There would be a difference if I was like some of these people on here that are freaking out, yelling, talking fast. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Um, scolding their audience which never you should never yell at your audience like that like I've heard people do it um, Wow I mean I don't know how they get the subscribers because all they do is like put people down it's like well hello you know but anyways please you guys take care of yourselves keep your eyes open the inside and outside eyes and we'll get through this. We will just stay fast. Keep to your your beliefs as strong as you can. Because something's going to happen here eventually. Okay? I'm just saying, just keep your eyes open. Alright? Peace be with all of you guys. And have a very, very safe Memorial Day weekend. Um, hope you guys have some good picnics. I'm going over to, Matt and I are going over to uh, my mom's house Sunday and um, enjoying uh, a little cookout with them. So it should be nice. <laughs> As I sit there and talk about this stuff and I'm like, hey, we're going to have a cookout. And, but anyway, um, I love you guys and you know this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it. All right. Peace be with you. God bless you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.